right, good morning. Uh, wanted to just give you guys a little bit of motivation, but also selfishly give myself a little motivation to get myself to do a workout today. Pro tip, or rather lazy tip, if you like just can't get yourself to do it, but you know you want to, find a workout that says no repeats on it. So this was like a 30 minute full body, uh, no repeat workout, which means like you never have to keep going back and like doing the same squat over and over again. So it goes so much faster and it's so much more achievable. So there you go. Oh my God, fitness pro tip. Who is she? Welcome back to another Vlogging Monday. Um, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you guys today. I have a lot on the plate today and clearly you're coming with me. But my main objective is to figure out an outfit. I'm going back on the Nick Vial podcast for the season premiere of The Bachelorette. So one, I guess we're watching The Bachelorette again. Like I said, each season I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. And then somehow, some way I get sucked in. And two, I'm gonna leave the link below. The episode um, on his channel or his like podcast should be going up tomorrow. Guys, you know, I always get so nervous doing stuff like this, uh, especially with the Bachelor Nation world. Um, it's like super clicky and a little overwhelming. So if you could go over there and I'll remind you tomorrow and give it some love and give me some love. I like could not thank you enough. Okay, thank you. So let's figure this out together, shall we? I just turned off a Backstreet Boys song to press record, which means I really must love y'all. It is so hot in LA. It's 100 degrees out right now and I am sweating profusely. I just went to lunch with my dad and we sat outside like crazy people. So if I melt on camera, like actually melt away, uh, just know that I love you guys and um, wanted to spend my last melting minutes with you. We were supposed to go to the Hollywood Bowl tonight to see Kinky Boots. I was so excited about it, but my dad's girlfriend got sick and we felt bad going without her. So we're selling the tickets. I'm headed over now to pass off the tickets to a friend of mine who happens to be next to Crossroads Trading. So I'm thinking maybe I pop in just to see if there's anything worth trying on. Not that I need to buy anything else. I mean, maybe I should just hop into my closet. It's so silly that I care so much about like how I'm gonna look on this podcast. First of all, it's a podcast, Lisa, but it is on camera and it's on YouTube and I don't know. I don't do these things that often, so I wanna like put my best foot forward and my best outfit forward when I do. And mostly because last time I did it, I was wearing these high-waisted jeans that I love so much, but I didn't practice sitting in them. So when I sat, it A, either looked like I had a penis or, <laughs> or like a whole extra stomach. It wasn't like the best look for me. I know we're the, our toughest critics. Um, and that's Hollywood, baby. So I wanna at least try to figure it out. I'm also like, I'm liking the short hair, but I'm getting used to how to style it. It's so much, whoa. It's so much different when you do it yourself as opposed to having a professional <laughs> do it. But that's Hollywood, baby. A little side story that I feel like you guys will appreciate. Um, hopefully the sound's okay. I have to have the air one again. It's like so freaking hot. So I had a friend come over yesterday. We got Sharkies, which is like fast Mexican food. Not like fast food, but you know what I mean. Like it's like Chipotle, I guess. Um, and so she had gotten like a big thing of chips and guacamole and then she left and there were still so many chips and guacamole left over, but I had like eaten a lot of food and I was feeling like, ugh. And I was like, Jeff, do you want these? He's like, no. And I was like, all right, God bless. Thank you for this gift. Like, let's throw it out so we don't eat it like enough. We enjoyed it, but like, you know, we try to be conscious about what we put in our bodies and whatever. So we throw it out and then mm, I would say like two hours later, we were like ready for a snack and I was like, um, so about those chips in the trash and Jeff was like, I'll dig them out. I'll do it. Like I'll take one for the team. Like I'll dig it out. And I was like, let's do this. So we straight up went into the trash and, uh, we checked on the status that was the chips. Like were they in trash or were they like properly like kind of wrapped? And as it turns out, they were properly wrapped up 
so it wasn't completely gross, but we definitely ate chips out of the trash can. And they were so good. <laughs> Corn, what up, dude? Say on the internet. Love a hydrating queen. I just spent the last hour watching the new Bachelorette. They sent me a link so I can watch it ahead of time so that the podcast comes out like right after it airs. Honestly, I loved it. I can't do any spoilers. I feel like I will get in major trouble, but it's super fun. I like took a lot of notes. I printed out their pictures. I took notes. I'm all prepared. I really had so much fun. The thing I did not do is figure out what I'm gonna wear for the podcast. Instead, I'm just gonna snack all day. These are a new snack that we got. Jeff and I are cracker chip kind of people. Um, this is jalapeno and lime. It's pretty good. Found a new salsa that I'm obsessed with. If anyone's a salsa fan. Mm -hmm. Fire roasted kind of gal. Very good. Um, we were going to go to the movies tonight, but we decided it's just been a long day. We both had some work to do, so we decided to stay at home. See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. What do you think, see? Corny, you're baking in the sun, huh? She loves the afternoon and the sun. The light comes in so hot and she just bakes, man. She just lays in the sun. She is a sun puppy through and through. Anyways, let's go into the closet and see what we can find. Been an, on an iced tea kick as of late. Oh, by the way, this week the Old Navy Hall will come out. But I've been wearing two things already and I'm actually really loving them. One is a pair of shoes and one is a tank top. So, spoiler alert, I thought I wasn't going to love the items, but so far two good items have come out of it. I love vlogs like this that are just like so random. I hope that you're enjoying. Also in a try on video the other week, people were asking me about the jeans or the jean shorts that I was wearing. Those are these, they're American Eagle and I actually got them on ThreadUp. These are the 90s boyfriend short. Um, and you know what? They're a little bit too big on me, but it's kind of fun to have like big jean shorts. I feel like that's like a look and a vibe and I don't love my jean shorts like super tight. I will say I could probably size down one. I'm shocked because these are a uh, US two. Um, but you know, I don't know. They've been worn for a while, but here's what they look like. I will try to find the link and actually, I might actually purchase another pair a size down if they still have this fit because it's just a great fun jean short and I find myself grabbing these all the time because it's like wearing sweatpants, um, but the short version in the summer, really easy. I did, however, find a pair of denim shorts that I don't hate, which is a feat in itself. Um, besides those, again, those are a little like scrappy and like they're not the right fit ultimately. So it looks like I'm wearing sweats out and about or like the idea of that, like I don't give a crap, which, you know, there's a vibe for that. But these have turned out to be really great. These are Gap. There are the four inch short high rise. I think I've talked about these. I ended up not getting the petite because the petite were super short. And at first they're a little bit tight and like a little bike short-esque in terms of how they fit. But now I've worn them maybe three times without washing. Is that gross? I don't care. Um, and they have loosened up a bunch in the leg. I have a thicker leg. So um, I really like when these are a little bit looser around these thighs and they definitely do stretch out so I think these are a great pair of denim shorts if you are on the hunt this summer again I will try to link them denim shorts are just such a nightmare these are great and again the American Eagle ones are great I actually want to go into American Eagle and try on a bunch of their shorts I took a friend there to get her a pair of denim and uh she is wearing them all summer long she's like they're all I wear so Definitely worth doing that. If you want to see that, let me know. This is from my newly haul this month, which went up last week. And I wore this yesterday with denim shorts. And I feel like it's super cute on now that I've styled it. Um, I don't think I want to wear this, though, on camera. It's so specific and, like, mm, it's not the perfect fit on me. Maybe I just go, like, t-shirt and jeans and keep it really casual and take, like, the pressure off myself um, to, like, have to be so hip and happening, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think that's where I'm at right now where I was, like, I feel like I need to, like, 
look very like hip, which is stupid. I never really look hip. I mean, I mean, again, I'm, I'm totally overthinking this, but y'all, you know, pandemic life, back at it. Uh, I feel like we lead into that excuse a lot, but it's true. And I also really like enjoy the art of getting dressed and like putting together outfits. I'm just not good at it. That being said, um, I never used to just wear t-shirts and jeans. I was just not comfortable enough in um, my body. And I feel like even though t-shirt and jeans is like really relaxed, to me back in the day, I really had a hard time finding denim. As you can see, still with the shorts, um, I never wore je jeans growing up. It was just really hard to find a fit that I felt comfortable in and that I fit in properly. And so I was more of like a dress or overalls or like, you know, I don't know, anything other than just jeans and a t-shirt. And then I remember I talked about this in my like um, sort of self-love, self-body love journey video, which I will link above and below. Um, but I had this one agent right after college. It was like a youth agent because I looked young. So she was like the youth department and they ended up signing me, but she was just like, I came in in this really cute, what I thought was a really cute, like sort of um, overall dress kind of thing with this like mock turtleneck thing and these high boots. Like I loved that outfit. I might've worn that on a YouTube video, now that I'm thinking about it, like way back in the day. Anyways, one of my favorite outfits, and I felt good in it, and I felt good in myself, and she was just like, yeah, this isn't gonna work, so this isn't gonna work, get rid of those, never wear those again about the boots. By the way, so those boots were like fry boots. I had thrifted them, and they were classic, and I wore the shit out of them, um, even after she told me not to. And she's like, just like wear jeans and a t-shirt. As if it was like so easy for everyone and anyone to just wear jeans and a t-shirt and feel comfortable. And that, at that point, I was definitely not comfortable in jeans and a t-shirt. Like it just, it was like out of question for me. Um, but she said it so flippantly. And then as I said in the story time about this, she was like, and maybe think about doing Pilates. And she lifted up her shirt and made me touch her abs and told me that her abs came from Pilates. Traumatic. Anyways, all circling around to the fact that I am now far more comfortable in my body. It took a lot of work, uh, like constant work, constantly. You saw me working out this morning, not only like physical work, but more than that. And more importantly, mental health, working on it, coming into myself. I'm almost 40. I've gained acceptance. This is all to say, I might just wear a t-shirt and jeans to the podcast and call it a day. I have a few t-shirts that I thought would be cute. I thought about this on the drive home and now of course I'm forgetting which ones I was referring to. I mean I always like this. This was a thrifted J. Crew shirt. I feel like this always just like kind of looks cute on camera with some jeans or I'm sorry the air conditioner is on. This whole video is going to be just like the sound of air conditioner in the background. It's so hot. I did get the newly of this um, and I think this is just so darling. So I could do this with some denim and sneaks and call it a day? Question mark. Why is getting dressed so hard? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I like talking it out with you guys because you guys are always so helpful. I also have like two girlfriends who I always send pictures of me in outfits and I'm like, is this an outfit? And they're usually pretty honest with me, which is super nice. You need friends like that. Thinking about wearing this romper, which I thrifted from a thrift store in person. By the way, did not end up going there today. I was like, you know what, Lisa, you have enough stuff at home. Like, stop shopping. You don't need it. So I have this. This always looks kind of cute. I'm just wondering, in a seated position, if I would like the look of this. Am I overthinking this? Some of you are like, girl, I'm with you. And I feel like half of you are like, girl, calm down. Still love ya. I did, however, just get this. And I have a thread up haul coming as well this week. And I'll probably try this on in the thread up haul. Um, this is not from thread up, but it is a secondhand uh, buy. How cute is this romper? It's wild. It's fun. Um, the brand is Daisy, Danny LA. It's an LA based company and I actually got this from Newly, but Newly now has like a Newly thrift, which is an equivalent to like Poshmark kind of situation. Um, and this actually came through, like you can go on there and sell it, sell stuff yourself. So like I could have a Newly account, which maybe I will if Poshmark, like 
there's no movement on Poshmark in my opinion for me. So I might move over to here just for funsy. But this actually came from Newly themselves. And it says that it's used, but like the quality is pretty good. Um, and this is one of those items that I've really been wanting. Uh, there's a few companies out here that do these like funky sort of rompers and um, a lot of my friends have them, but they're very, very expensive. So to be able to get this like, you know, thrifted, it was still, I, I still think it was kind of pricey. I feel like I paid like 60 for it, but that came also like with the addition of taxes and then shipping. So it, it was a piece. It was a piece. Um, but how cute is that? That being said, I'm not sure this is the exact right thing for the podcast, but very, very cute. I don't feel like I can pull a dress off because I'm sitting unless I do a long dress. And I have this, which my mom gave to me as a dress of hers that I've borrowed a few times and she's like, just take it. Um, it's an off the shoulder thing. Oh, it's a new day target brand. You know, that could be kind of cute. It looks really cute on. I just feel like it might be a little overkill for the podcast. This is literally for like an hour long podcast. It's like not a big deal. Getting dressed for like important things. <laughs> like a wedding for instance very stressful i swear i had like the best idea on the car ride home and then it has escaped me oh i know i know it's something in the old navy hall so i'm gonna hold on to that and save that for that i haven't tried it on yet either um i just it like occurred to me as i was driving i was like oh i have that cute t-shirt from the old navy got it Lisa, way to go, way to go. So you'll just have to stay tuned for all of these things. So many cliffhangers, so many important things to think about and wait for, you know what I mean? This is all very important. All right, Jeff and I are about to make dinner, but we decided before we like really settle in, we should figure out what we're gonna watch so we don't have to go through the trouble of figuring out what we're gonna watch. But what are we gonna watch? <laughs> the paradox of too much choice. It's like a diner menu. If you've ever been to a diner- Yeah, or like Cheesecake Factory. With a nine page menu. Correct. Correct. A fine dining institution has curated choices. That's right. I would show you guys uh, Jeff on camera, but he is in his little undies and he's wearing Dorito undies and um, they're everything. It's the weekend. I'm also just in my undies. <laughs> It is a weekend. Oh, also we got sent this as a gift and it would be fun to play this sometime. Cinephile. It is a card game about movies. For film nerds, movie geeks, um, I will be terrible at this. I would love to try, to, I would love to watch, try to figure out the name of the actor. I can't remember anything. So yeah, we'll have to give this a go sometime. Let us know if you want to see us play this. It occurred to me that I don't usually film it, but I have mentioned before that I always dress, and Jeff, you do this too, we dress like crazy people when we take the dog for a walk. Like, our outfits are wild. Like, we just don't give a fuck. And so like, it's yeah. a weird, con right? You're laughing because you yeah, know it's true. I wouldn't, wanna, I wouldn't wanna talk to me if I saw me. We're literally like, let's take the dog for the walk, but for a walk, but we really don't wanna talk to anyone. <laughs> and so we just dress like crazy people. Can you do an outfit of the day for me real fast? Or I need some fun shoes. Probably is. This is on like a good night, you know what I mean? Like I actually feel pretty cool tonight. Yeah, you see this lady, you're gonna walk to the other side of the street. I'm gonna say, howdy neighbor. <laughs> howdy neighbor. Howdy neighbor. All right, like how long do you think that was? Jeff? Yeah, what? Yeah. 30, for sure. I was gonna say 40 minutes later, but maybe 30 minutes later, we are winded and we are ready for nighttime snacks. Are you ready? What's it going to be tonight, Corny? Turkey or turkey? She loves her turkey. We live in this really cute neighborhood, and there's all these cute houses. And so the whole walk, I was making Jeff take note of different addresses so I can look at them up on Zillow and just see how out of our range they are. <laughs> you got that all written down, Jeff? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go stalk our neighbors. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. As usual, I just enjoy days even more when I get to spend them with you guys. Uh, tomorrow will be a haul of, I'll either thread up tomorrow or Old Navy, um, and I'll leave the link to the podcast because that'll be up tomorrow as well. Thank you guys so much for everything, for supporting me. I think you're great, and uh, see you tomorrow. Go, bye. Was that a weird ending? It felt like a weird ending. Corny, do you want to say goodbye? Corny, say bye to everyone. You say goodnight, everybody. 
Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for visiting my channel.